This is actually a lithium iron phosphate battery that I put together. So you can see I have the little acrylic top here with the terminals. It's got a battery management system here. I've got the four lithium iron phosphate cells all connected to balance leads. It's 150 amp hours, uh, about half the price of a Battleborn. And I'm going to finish up some uh, little details on this today, hook it up to the RV, and we'll start testing some, some capacities and some loads and things. Oh, this one weighs so much less, even though it's four times as much power. Power back on. Plug it in. Ben's cleaning off the solar panel, which tends to get dusty and dirty and full of mulberry flowers. On the roof, we've got the Go Power Solar Flex 100 watt flexible panel. You can see right now it's got quite a bit of shading on it from this mulberry tree so we're not getting the full potential out of it. I managed to charge the battery to 100% using the solar panels, both the one on the roof with the boost on the solar controller as well as the standalone uh, portable one. I have 150 amp hours available. We'll check that out on my app here. When we go to battery state, 149.99 amp hours. So when we're parked in the redwoods and there's no sun on the solar panel for a few days, we'll have power to spare. Be able to run showers, run lights, run TV, no limiting the kids on their movies. It's just great. It's just so great. I have been stockpiling for months and I went to the store again forgetting I already had gotten a lot of stuff. So now we have to figure out how to pack it, what we're taking and where we're going to put it all. So as you can see, there's a lot of food. I think I, I have a fear of running out of food apparently. I tend to hoard food. So now we have to decide uh, what to do with it all. So really, when you think about it, this will keep us from going to the store as often. Fitting it all in the truck might be a little difficult. Is that way it's going to fit? It's, it's going to fit. Always the optimist. Look, look, I've got two bags of jalapeno lime chips. Those are really good. Well, that's all we need. Yeah. And, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bags of chips, <laughs> which is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, I don't know. You never know. I like to. These are really good, by the way, from Trader Joe's. These alote corn chips are so good. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> it's totally out of control. It's out of control. <laughs> So I think we'll be good for a while. I don't think we'll be stopping at a lot of stores. At least not right off the bat. No, we're gonna be good for a while. This, this was our plan. We usually do this in general when we're traveling, but now with the COVID, it's even better that we're really self-contained, so we really lessen our interaction with anybody. We're also getting just a simple pack of backpacking food ready. These will go in our frame packs in the back of our truck so we won't have as much fiddle faddle to do to get on the trail when we decide to backpack. So this will be ready. Getting the backpacking gear ready to put in the truck just to show you guys my alcohol stove fuel. Don't drink this. It's in a Smirnoff 
bottle. It's stove fuel. You definitely don't want to drink this. So a little skull and crossbones keeps you safe. <laughs> and what you got over there? What well, you... got a pack of off. Because, you know, like we don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Costco. Costco is mom's Dang friend. It. I'll put one in the, the swim stuff. Somehow we're getting all this stuff in a truck as well. Where it's no, it's just this. The paddles and this. Oh, and this and this and this and this and this. And these. And this. And those. Oh, what? These are so much no problem. It just <laughs> Everything just looks fluffy. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> well, we're really getting down to crunch time now. We're leaving in a few days. So today is mostly just sort of the pre-trip organization and packing and actually deciding what not to bring because we're bringing a lot of stuff. So we've decided that two inflatable kayaks might be too much. That was kind of heartbreaking. Um, but we do have inner tubes. We have so much other toys that just paring it down is really important. The battery has been in here for about a month and I'm really happy with the capacity. The management system, it's a little hard to tell what's going on. It's kind of all over the place. It'll go from 80% to an over voltage all of a sudden uh, and then come back down when I use it to 97% and so the capacity is not going to be a problem but actually figuring out what's going on might. So we've got shore power plugged in right now so we can chill the fridge using the AC and that way it's nice and cold when we start loading groceries in. I've got the battery pretty much charged, it's up to 78% right now but I don't have that continuing to charge from shore. I just don't want it to go into over voltage. I don't think it's a big deal. If it does go into over voltage, it cuts off the battery so it doesn't damage it. I just, you know, a big red alarm comes on your screen and you're like, over voltage, oh my goodness. So I have it disconnected right now. Don't think it's a problem though. Uh, I just dumped all the fresh water out of the tank and I'm gonna put new fresh water in. Right now about two-thirds of a tank I think is what we decided to travel with. Better to fill with water when you get there rather than haul a bunch of heavy water across the country. But we're gonna do some boondocking, some dry camping, and so uh, we'll have about 13 gallons in the truck as well. So that's a little bit of a supplement. Better have the weight in the truck, I think, than in the camper. It's getting really close. I'm so excited. One of those things where let's leave now, but also realizing we have a lot to do before we go. Oh, hi, Smiley. What do you think, Lou? It looks good. The back Let's is packed. See. Pretty much done. We got it in. Yeah, I think, you know, we're probably taking just a few extra things than last year. Just, you know, just a few. And yeah, the cooler's bigger, yes. but it's more gonna be food. handy because it should hold ice for a couple more extra days than our old one. Um, more food. Because our fridge in the camper is really small, so. We might have got too much stuff to be honest. <laughs>
Let's see, it's 9.20, and um, I think we're done packing for the day. I got my hair cut in before we left. My hairdresser got back to work this week, so I'm super excited to be light and ready to go, and um, yeah, we're gonna hit the road in the morning, so I'm pretty excited, so follow along. We'll see you next week.